Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Determinator Gaming. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and I'm coming at you with yet another money-making guide. This one being one of the easiest of the few if you have your lockpicking skill maxed out and enough money initially. Basically what you do is you go and do this store and that store, buy everything they have, and then run over and steal the money back out of their chest. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start at the armor shop, get our armor, take our money back, go to the sword shop, get our swords, take our money back. We're gonna find out how much merchandise we have and we're gonna take it on over to a miller and sell it all. All right, so we're gonna start at the armor shop. And since we're uh, not actually in it for the money, we're just trying to make a point, I'm only gonna take the things that stay up over about uh, 500 when you're selling them. So we're gonna stop right here at the Aachen Brigandine chassis. Okay, we're gonna close the deal. Now we're gonna, oh, I can't run, so I guess we're gonna saunter back here and up the stairs in hopes that nobody follows us, but I don't think anyone will. So we're just gonna go right up the stairs, pop into the storeroom back here, lockpick this chest, because this is the one where they keep the money. Well, like I said before, you obviously have to have your lockpicking high enough to do this method, but if you do, it's pretty easy. Oh. Unlock it. And take our money back. See, there it is right there. All right, step one complete. Now on to the sword shop. All right, now that we're over here, we're gonna just grab all the weapons above 500 for selling. Uh, looks like he has several. Hmm, duplicates, those are always fun. That'll make us plenty of money. But basically, you know, like I said, I'm just making a point. If you actually were in it for the money, you'd want to get everything because, you know, that's the best way to maximize money. Uh, that should be enough. But since I'm just doing this as a method, you know, no point. So now we're going to just saunter back through here. Pop on over to the chest right here, which is the one where all the money's stored. Hopefully lockpick it in one try. Oh, well, we didn't, but we have Lucky Thief. So hopefully nobody runs back here and catches me. But there's our Groshen. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now I'm going to do that, uh, I don't know, four more times. It takes a long time to do it that way because you have to wait about four days between each time. But, you know, I'll get it done so we can grab a couple. And then we're going to run on over to the miller. The fun thing about this is, as I can show you, you don't actually need to sell to the miller. I will just because I like selling things to the miller, but none of it is stolen because you paid for it. But you didn't pay anything because you stole your money back. So it's a perfect way to make money in this game. All right, now that we've done that a couple times with waiting four days between each one, so that took forever, but I did it five times, uh, we're gonna sell it. And I came over to Miller Wozczyk because I wanna level his money up too. So I don't expect to take away much money from this, but you know, it's the principle. So, we're going to go ahead and sell it. Now, mind you, obviously you make a lot less money than this if you only do it once, but you'll still make plenty of money. Or you could just use it as a way to grab, you know, a full suit of armor or uh, any weapon you want in the game for not paying anything. But let's see how much we can get for all of this. All right, well, 208,644 groschen. That's not too bad for about 20 days of in-game time. Let's just uh, give this all to him. So I make 11K out of it, but next time he'll have plenty of money. Well, that just about does it for this video. If you liked it, please leave me a like. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them below. And if you like this content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications as it helps my channel greatly and also because it'll help you stay up to date on all of my content coming out in the future. But in any case, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.